So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 specifically. We're going to be looking at the controversy that Bungie has introduced to the community. And it, it's it's ridiculous, not because of like the actual like thing. I think it's like whatever. It doesn't affect me as a player. It, it affects people who like to cherry pick seasons. That's the pre player that's going to suffer the most. But I'm more concerned and angry about the precedent that this could bring in Destiny 2. So... If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help the channel grow. I really appreciate it. But other than that, let's get started. So you might be wondering, what's up? Why? What's what's the big thing? Essentially, you're actually going to have to be buying the dungeons now separately. The two that are coming with Witch Queen, if you do not buy the digital deluxe edition, then you will not have it in the standard edition, unfortunately. Or even if you buy a season separately, it won't be there as well. So you have to get the dungeons either through the digital deluxe or have to pay for them separately. So instead of a $10 season pass with everything in it, now it's going to be a $10 season pass with maybe not everything in it, specifically the dungeon, if the dungeon comes in that season. So for example, uh, after which, after which queen, let's call it season of season of the dungeon right season of the dungeon will cost you ten dollars if you want to buy it separately but if it if a dungeon comes out in season of the dungeon then you actually have to pay an extra however much it is so instead of ten dollars it's actually going to cost you a little bit more my guess it's probably going to be ten dollars per dungeon or they might do a ten dollars per, per dungeon or not not ten dollars per dungeon they might do a ten dollar like one dungeon ten dollars for sure or you can buy both dungeons for ten dollars which is five each i see it being more ten dollars just because what bungie's trying to do here is basically get more money from the people who like to cherry pick seasons or just have more people commit to the uh digital deluxe edition which may basically means they have a, a whole year of destiny 2 which is not only more revenue but it also means more potential revenue from players that are just gonna be in your game all the time already. So it makes sense from a business standpoint because you're basically saying, if you want these dungeons, you're gonna have to pay the digital deluxe or you're gonna have to give us separate money for, for, the, for the dungeons. All of this makes sense, by the way. Like, I'm not saying like this doesn't make sense business-wise. It definitely does. What I do think Bungie is kind of like underestimating is the, the minimal gains that they'll gain in the beginning versus like how it'll be viewed in later. I think that's, where a lot of players are going to be really annoyed about what i'm actually really not pissed because i fully expect some shit like this from bungie but it's the president that they could bring like today it's dungeons later it could be raids later it could be this super exotic secret quest that you have to pay to get access to it it it, it opens a door that i think is not good <laughs> Because now you have now you have people doubting like are you guys are you guys gonna give us everything in a season now? Uh, God forbid you guys charge us for raids that we we've paid in the past because that would be fucking crazy. It just it just brings a, a level of distrust that I already did not want to have with Bungie, but now it's like even further beyond, and I didn't even know that was possible. This is coming from someone who's very jaded. Like, I haven't done these type of videos in a while because I don't like to make these videos. Uh, most of the time, they do well. It's just that it brings a certain type of person into my channel that I don't want to uh, entertain, I guess you could say. It brings it brings a player uh, that is basically super jaded, wants to talk shit about Destiny 2, and I still play Destiny 2. I still enjoy it. So, it's I'll, I'll talk shit about Destiny 2. And not even talking shit, I'll critique Destiny 2 like I'm doing in this video. But what I won't do is just bash the game to eternity and act like I don't play this game. Because I do play this game. I think it, I think critiquing is important, but there becomes a point where it's just this self-loathing hole where I just don't want to be a part of anymore. So if you're coming into this channel thinking like, oh, this guy's going to help me talk, talk shit about Destiny 2. I'm not like I, I will acknowledge the problems that Destiny 2 has because I've always done that, but I will not be self-deprecating with that shit. So just saying 
again i don't like the president that bungie is put putting towards this it's the fact that now it's like well dungeons today raids tomorrow or not even raids maybe a uh, secret exotic quest maybe certain weapons like don't get it twisted that 30th anniversary is pure fucking dog shit the fact that they're like help us celebrate by giving us money so that way you guys can get galahorn which they're fucked if they if it's good they're fucked if it's not uh i is luna and without one, one k uh yard or a thousand yard stare the three weapons that are beloved in the destiny community <clears throat> that's that's another video in its own self like i've already made the thumbnail for it and i still haven't made the video because i'd rather do it when the event's there but i mean i might as well do it now it's it's just scummy is what i'm trying to say can you imagine one of those two dungeons has weapons that are actually not only meta but like like luna's howl uh <clears throat> literally that level that level of meta people would get mad it would become pay to win at that point so at this point you make two dungeons cool they're gonna be dope most likely if the weapons are really good and i mean like god tier weapons like mountaintop recluse luna's howl uh not forgotten if it if they're at that level which i highly doubt but you might never know then at that point the big game becomes pay to win like hands down there's no there's no debate you can tell me whatever you want it you have to pay to get that access so this this is gonna be really bad and i know they're not gonna walk uh walk this back just because it's bungie a lot of people are just gonna try to defend this and be like well bungie needs money they're in the, they're an individual producer all this other dumb shit even though like eververse alone makes more than enough to like pay for everything so yeah this is pretty shitty uh this is super shitty uh, i feel bad for the people who who are the people who like to wait and see and pick cherry pick like which seasons they want to be a part of and it sucks for them because maybe maybe they cherry pick because either they don't have that much time they play other games which is very very understandable or they're just not that into destiny 2 anymore which is completely fair this just basically says like if you want to get all the shit that you can from destiny 2 you have to you have to pay all of it and let's be real like this game it's not like oh well you know at least the game's cheap right it's like no like the the deluxe the digital deluxe is like if i remember correctly a hundred dollars so witch queen deluxe edition is eighty dollars the funny thing though is that if you if you just buy the witch queen with the four seasons that's already forty dollars right there that's not even including the dungeons but the other funny thing is the witch queen deluxe edition plus the 30th anniversary is already a hundred dollars which is fucking hilarious to me because i always hear all oh, bungie bungie shouldn't have a monthly a monthly thing because it would be so expensive but at this point it's like there are they're like they're already getting so much money from expansions plus eververse bro nah they they probably make more than than what monthly uh subscribes don't do so i don't know i've never really been a big fan of bungie when they do shit like this specifically like eververse is another pain point for me i think eververse is too much uh i think the monetization for eververse is completely horrendous as well how are, how are you gonna have a free to play pricing range in your in your store when the game's not even free to play it's it's barely free to enter like I just I do not understand this it boggles my mind but let me know your thoughts in comments below are you against this are you with it let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links links are in the description below I will be having more fashion videos coming up I have a tips and tricks video that I'm working on right now I have more looks that I have for the Halloween event and I'm currently working to do a scary look for each class if not then I'll do it on one class either way i apologize if this was a little too negative but it has to be said bungie needs to be called out when they do shit like this even though it probably won't change anything because at the end of the day they will probably still run it and millions upon millions of people will just defend it even though it's not for the better of destiny 2 so let me know your thoughts and i will see you guys later